Hi, this is Mike. Just wanted to do a quick little video. Had a lot of people asking about the different foods, feeds, treats, minerals, all that good stuff. So I thought I'd just do a real quick little video. I was out here in the brooder room and here's some of the stuff, you know, that we keep on hand. And this is most of it, but starting out with the chicks, we use the Missouri starter. That's in that bag right there. It comes in a 25 pound bag. And this is a picture of the label. So if you wanna look it up, and that's everything in it. And this is the size of the pellets right here. They're very small, but with the chicks, we still grind those up. And this is the grinder that we use. And we set it on as coarse as we can get it. And you just pop that button one time and it's automatically set. It's for coffee, but it works great for the feed. It's one of the few things I found, found is strong enough to grind up Missouri. It's pretty hard. Um, we also feed chicks Ultra Kibble. That's Farmer's Helper. And that's the dark, that's the dark one right there. And it too, it's a little big for the little chicks. Um, so we, we grind that up also for like the first week. And uh, just, to get, just to get everything going, we only use about 25% of the Ultra Kibble for the chicks and with the other stuff. Um, they don't really recommend using it all the way, but it's great. It's got like a lot of fish protein, uh, more animal proteins and a lot of the other stuff, but it's really good. Um, we also use GQ, GQF, the vitamins and minerals in their water. Um, but starting out the chick, those are the kind of two things we do. And then once they get a little bit older, um, once they start to color out, we switch them to Missouri. That's in the big bag there. That comes in a 40 pound bag. The starter's in a 25 pound bag. And that is the label off of the breeder. That's Missouri Exotic Game Bird Breeder. And there's everything that's in it. Um, but with the breeders, what we do, we also give them, well, and that's the size of the pellets of the breeders, just to give you a general idea of the size. I laid a pencil there so you can kind of see it in comparison. Um, but we give them that, and we also give them the dove and pigeon quail food as a treat and this is kind of our bucket for feeding the breeders we just got a little scoop in there that we scoop everything up but we give them some breeder then we give them the ultra kibble and then we also give them the dove and pigeon that's kind of a treat and for calcium during the breeding season we give them this right here it's kind of a shadow on it but that has a salt calcium a lot of good stuff in it, um, you know, to help with the eggs and all that good stuff. But we give them just a pinch to each of the, to the pairs. So actually what you see there with the treats, we give them probably double that amount and that's it. And that's like every other day. It's just a little treat. And, uh, but that's pretty much everything we do. We just kind of grab that bucket at night and go around pen to pen and get everything fed, treat them up, collect eggs, all that good stuff. And here's some of the lights that we use in the brooder. This is who we get them from. They're off of Amazon. All the food comes from Chewy. Uh, we, they order it, great company. <laughs> they have it here within a day or two. Uh, most of this other stuff I just get off of Amazon. Those are 25 watt bulbs. And those are like, the, they're called party bulbs. And this is the hover baiter that we use for hatching, not for incubating, but for hatching. For an incubator, we use the Sportsman 1502. And sometimes we, we have an Arcom 50 that we use. I kind of prefer the, the Sportsman just because it's easier, easier to clean. Um, we never hatch in the Sportsman incubator from GQF. We usually hatch in these. And this is a, an egg turner 
This is where we just lay our eggs before we set them in the incubator. And uh, that's what we use, just you know, just to hold your eggs and it keep, keeps them rotating. So that's pretty much it. That kind of covers everything I think that I can think of. Um, this whole room in here, we keep it 85 degrees. Um, that way the temperature stays real consistent with the, with the lights. Then we just keep some extra racks and stuff like that in here, and extra paper towels and all that good stuff. But I think that's about it. Um, got any questions, always feel free to ask. Hope everybody's having a good season. Well, I thought I'd just splice this in real quick also, just a quick little follow-up to the same video. We're out here giving the feed. Um, this is uh, just a spoon, a little aluminum spoon. We hooked it to a old broken fishing rod, and then we put a little hook on it just to hang it up when we're not using it. So basically, that's we just collect the egg. We write the pin number on it. And then we come in here and we give our we give our treats, and that's kind of how I do it. I just got a little one cup bowl. Um, I change that out about every two days, put fresh feed in there, and that's about the size of the treats. It's maybe a teaspoon at the most of each, and a little bit of the grit and mineral, and that's pretty much it. I just thought I would tack that in there just to see how we walk around, put a little hook on each pin. And uh, these are our little doors. I'm sure you've seen all these before, but, but that's it. And then we got automatic waters hooked on there. That takes care of all the watering. Thanks again for watching.